Um, yeah, no, I get but I, I love these tough questions, to be honest with you, rather than just the uh, yes. kind of the, the polite Canadian questions. Yeah, yeah. It, it's when we get out of our comfort zone and ask the tough questions that there's more opportunity to yeah. learn and grow and exactly. things like that. Yeah, are, sure. are there any other kind of tough questions like that that turned you off? You said you know you didn't come to things like that. Um, I personally don't understand. Like, uh, well, I guess it's going towards like fanatics. Um, Martyring themselves and having 27 virgins. There's two issues here that need to be clarified. One is the person thinking that they're going to go to heaven by throwing themselves up and throwing up other innocent people, right? Yeah. That's been pretty much universally condemned by all Muslim yeah, scholars. Yeah. By all Muslim scholars. Yeah. Okay. The Quran says, "Don't make your hands the means of your own destruction." Right. This has always been understood to be a prohibition of suicide. Right. So suicide, for example, is not allowed in Islam. That's good. Um, I don't want to lie to you. There are some scholars, right? There are some yeah. scholars, especially in Palestine. Yeah. Yeah. In Afghanistan, who have said that if the only means of defending yourself and saving your 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 fellow uh, brothers and sisters who are being attacked, if the only way is to run in front of that camp and basically know that you're going to die, right? So they use that as an analogy, saying that if if by blowing yourself up against a military target of someone yeah. who's like, let's say, invading your country or something like that, that could be justified. So a minority of scholars said that, but no reputable scholar, no, really? no, okay. no reputable right. Muslim scholar has said that you can blow yourself up and kill innocent people, yeah. non-combatants, civilians good. and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's issue number one, how do we get to heaven? Yeah. But let's say somebody actually died fighting for a just cause. Let's say for a just cause. Yeah. Canada gets invaded by Cuba tomorrow, okay. and I say, hey, I want to defend my country. Yeah. I'm going to go and fight these Cuban soldiers, right? Yeah. Right. Now, let's say I die in the process yeah. of fighting the just fight, the just yeah. war. We believe that there's accountability, God is going to hold us accountable on the Day of Judgment, and there's reward and punishment, there's heaven and hell. Yes. You with me so far? Yes, yeah. Man. The Quranic descriptions of hell are that it's a place of physical and spiritual punishment. So what I mean by that is, all the stuff you heard from Christianity about fire and brimstone yeah. and all that, we affirm that. We affirm yeah. that in hell there will actually be physical suffering, but also spiritual suffering. What do, what do I mean by spiritual suffering? That the people in hell will be aware of the fact that they're not in the pleasure of God. Yes. Had they lived the righteous life, had they lived yes. a right kind of life, they would have been in the pleasure of God, in the company of angels. In the so that would be kind of a spiritual torment and a spiritual punishment. Absolutely. Okay. Does any of this sound crazy so far? No. Okay. So we have an idea or a concept of hell when there's physical yeah. and spiritual punishment. Yeah. So I ask you now, John, isn't it only balanced? Isn't it only just? Isn't it only fair that if hell is a place of physical and spiritual punishment, mm -hmm. shouldn't heaven be a place of physical and spiritual punishment? Absolutely. So it doesn't sound so unreasonable, does it? That there would be physical pleasures in paradise as well too. So now if I told you the Quran has, the Quran describes that we'll be drinking milk and honey. Yeah. Is, is, that, is that something wrong or does it bother you? No. It's a physical pleasure. It's a yeah. carnal pleasure, right? Yes. It's just food. Yeah. When the Quran says we'll be reclining on chairs, yeah. you know, we'll be relaxing. And the temperature will be just right. It won't yeah. be too hot. It won't be too cold. These are physical pleasures. You don't have a problem with that, right? No. Okay. So why have a problem when it comes to sexual intimacy or sexual pleasure? If you think about it rationally. Rationally? Um, uh, well, you stumped me there. <laughs> if, God, if God has said for this life, if God has yeah. said, see, look, you can eat food, but see, don't overeat. Don't steal somebody else's lunch. See, I see sex as like, okay, yes, there's pleasure involved. And say you get laid every day. Wow, that's great. You know? But the bottom line is it's to reproduce. But do you think the only purpose of sex is to reproduce? I mean, what if my wife is past the age of childbearing? Should I stop well, having sex with her? No, well, no. But, hey, you know. So it's also but, an act of intimacy. It yeah. also bonds people. Yeah. And physical it's, pleasure. It's even, right. Yeah, and I mean, hugging see, see like John, that. what it is, I, I mean, uh, I, I didn't actually catch this at the beginning, but are, are you Christian yourself or just from Christian background? Perhaps? I'm, I was uh, baptized Catholic. Um, I'm not a Catholic. Um, I'm a Christian, I believe. Okay. 
Right. So, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. I believe in the right and wrong. Yeah. Right, right. So even though you're not Catholic any longer, right, John? Yeah. But sometimes we can leave a lifestyle or a religion or a yeah. worldview, but it can still inform us subconsciously, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, exactly. So some of the Catholic... Um, Misconceptions about the uh, some of the Catholic ideas of the flesh, being yeah, something evil, yeah, the pleasures of the flesh, something, yeah. something repulsive. Some of that may have filtered into your way of current thinking, right? Whereas a Muslim is kind of consistent. A Muslim is saying eating is good, yeah. but overeating is bad. Yes, right. God doesn't want you to overeat. Yes. Right. We also have the additional idea of dietary loss. So there's yeah. we have the idea of clean and unclean foods, like the Jews, yeah, like so the Jews. So yeah. eating. Eating halal chicken, yeah. turkey, lamb, yeah. good thing. Yeah. Eating yeah. pig, you know, yeah. we would say for us, a bad thing, right? Yeah. Uh, me eating my lunch, good thing. Me stealing your lunch and eating it, yeah. bad, bad thing. thing. <laughs> okay. yeah. no, so, no, so look, we're consistent. The same thing happens with sex as well. Too. Yeah. Sex in, in and of itself, and the, and the pleasures of sex, in and of itself, it's a good thing. It's not an yeah. evil thing. Yeah. But overdoing it. Yes. Doing it with the wrong gender, yeah. Uh, yeah. doing it yeah. with somebody else's wife, yes. bad. Yeah. <laughs> but but in heaven, presumably, we wouldn't have these kind of concerns, right? Like so, for example, when I mentioned wine in uh, heaven, you didn't say, "Well, aren't people going to get drunk and drink and drive and yeah. die?" Presumably, God's going to take care of that, right? Yeah. It's going to be a wine. It'll have these pleasures without the negative side effects, right? So similarly, if we can have sex in heaven without people's feelings getting hurt, mm. without there being uh, illicit children being born right. out of wedlock. Um, oh, on a rational basis, there wouldn't be any objection to that, right? I guess not. And, and like, at and the same time, I don't want to, at the same time, I don't want to reduce the uh, Quranic, the Quranic description of paradise yeah. to just the sensual pleasures, you know? No, no. Because the Quran not. also says they will be near the omnipotent king, okay. meaning God. Right. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that the greatest reward in, in heaven will actually be to see God. Yeah, to see a lot. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, but the thing is, the Quran is speaking to people on different levels, right? Right. Because there's lots of people here at Young and Young Dundas, right, who are chasing girls and chasing all kinds yeah. of uh, wrong things. And if I were to tell them, look, give up the girls, give up the drugs, yeah. because you'll be in the company of angels in heaven yeah. if, if you live a good, righteous life. Yeah. It's not going to speak to them. It's not going to make sense to them. Yeah. So yeah. there's some people who need to hear about the hoodies, the virgin yeah. maidens of heaven. They need to hear about the wine. They need to hear about that. And then there's others, if they're more spiritually inclined, right. then their mind will go towards other descriptions in the yeah. Quran, which right. talk about the spiritual rewards of heaven. Little pieces for everyone. A little bit for everyone. It's custom tailored. That's it's custom made for everybody. Made. Right? I never thought of that. yeah. 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 That's wonderful. That's really good. And like the prophet also like explains paradise like no eye has ever seen it no brain no brain has ever imagined it you know so it's something even like how you you said about the description it's still something much better than what you described it to be yeah. this is only like a description that God given it to given us give, given it to us like just so we can have a little gist of and a little uh, yeah. understanding of it yeah, yeah. but it's not the whole thing you know yeah. no, I, yeah. so, and so these but I never even thought about yeah, it yeah so, that so, so these so just, these that's descriptions that's are neither completely literal nor yeah. are they metaphorical so to, yeah. literal would mean like it's just that like an apple in heaven it's just that it's an apple that you find at no fruit right yeah. that would that would be literal but metaphor would mean well it's not really an apple it's just a metaphor a symbol for yeah. So the word that I like to use, approximations. These things, these descriptions of paradise and hell in, in the Quran are approximations. In other yeah. words, you're gonna have something that, like, there's no other word to describe it. It's something like fruit. Yeah. It's something like wine. Okay. It's something like what you think of milk. It's something like that. It's something like uh, uh, virgin ladies. Just think right. about that. They're yeah. approximations of what they actually are. Ultimately, yeah. God knows, right? Yeah. Ultimately, God knows the reality yeah. of those things. Sure. Yeah. But if I may ask you a question for my own learning, yeah. is that in your, uh, not Catholic, but your, your non-Catholic, in your Christian yes. uh, idea of paradise or heaven, um, what could I look forward to or what can we look forward to? What will we be doing in heaven, in the Christian heaven? Um, overall, I think personally, yeah. just being happy to know that you can leave your door on. You can say hi to your neighbor. Just somebody helping out the next person. Peace is amazing because uh, the Quran says that when the people are entering heaven, the angels will greet them with the words salam. Peace. Peace. 
So, so salam or peace, we believe, is the greeting of paradise. Okay. And, and it's one of the reasons also that Muslims greet one another with this greeting. You've heard it before, right? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, literally, the peace or peace be upon you. Right? That's good. Yeah. Um, because even Jesus in uh, the Gospels told his disciples when you greet one another, say yeah. peace be on you. Yeah, sure. And if you think about it, John, there's a. Uh, I know we've changed topics now, but. Uh, there's no more beautiful word that you can actually greet somebody with. No. Is there is there a better greeting I can greet a stranger with? Is there a better greeting a son can greet his mother with, or a daughter can greet her father with, or a husband can greet the wife with, or the wife can, yo, what's I up, dog? Th- yeah, what's no, up? no, that doesn't, hey. that doesn't go. <laughs> what's up, dog? It just no, doesn't match. No, it just, it just doesn't, doesn't match. Salam alaikum. Peace be upon you. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's very nice. I never actually knew what Aslam was. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So, like the Jewish uh, Shalom, yeah. Aleichum, right? Yeah. So, Jesus would have said Shalom. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Right? Peace. Yeah. Beautiful. So, John, I don't want to take up too much yeah. of your time because you're so generous. You stop. You. If you have any questions, you can feel I free will. to ask. Otherwise,